My name's Ditto. The detrimental robot. I know. Good. That saves time. Who's that next door? Some paddy brewed himself up in a caravan. Oh, there must be an Irish joke there somewhere. So go in and make him laugh. I'll make you laugh. Oh, instead. Great. You're going to jail for 30 years, David. 10,950 days. More when you can't leave years. You work all that out in your head? You'll miss your son's bar mitzvah, David. Oh. You'll be standing there saying, today I am a man. You won't even be halfway through your sentence. I want to know where Norden is. He was sprung from jail by one William Scott Spider to his friends. You were there. So what else is new? They've both gone to ground. And I want to know where. Think it over, David. You don't mind my calling you David, do you? It's a name. Right. Not the name you had when you were with Shinberth. And that name was different to the one you had when you were with the Rop of God Commando in Paris. And that name... Who's counting? Hmm? Just filling in background, David. No deals. That's a load of boring machismo, David. And we both know it. No right. deals! We'll see about that, David. I should live so long. Precisely. Why don't you leave me alone? There's nothing we'd like better. Mine's soon to be at home to give me garden. And I'd much rather be in the country adding to my collection of brass rubbings. Here we are, stuck with a stupid rich bitch who's dropped herself right in it. Oh, yes, he can. He can. I want to make a phone call. Another soft core revolutionary, wouldn't you say, Joe? Yeah. She wants to call Daddy. Then Daddy will call a flash lawyer. And the flash lawyer will call us fascists. The usual progression. I'm entitled to make a phone call. I know my rights. I bet you do. I bet you know every last little one of them, you posturing, self-centered cow. Trevor had rights, too. But he didn't get to make a phone call. He got a bullet from one of your friends. Look, if you're going to charge me... Don't get ahead of yourself. Everything will be done by the book. Let's go. Goodbye, Billy, then. Right. You can't trust nobody nowadays. That young fellow was here, said he'd tell you people about Billy. He not only left poor old Billy lying around, he picked some clothes out of me bag and all. Prison gear scrap. Well, would you believe it? Scrap, what was it that geezer stole from you? Uh, a pair of trousers, and they'd be too small for him, and me yellow oil skin. PC758. Oh, it's 758. I'm at number 90, 90 Nashville Street. I found some prison gear on the premises. I'm looking for a painting called Still Life by William Scott. 
You look like Maggie's pet hun. You look like an unfrocked Hare Krishna. Why didn't Maggie come herself? Not out of bed yet. Because she is being watched by the police. Yeah, she would be, wouldn't she? So, whether you like it or not, I am your go-between. Yeah, well, I don't like it. How much do you know? Most of it. Great. This place is beginning to depress me. Shall we go? Yeah. Would you like to tell me where we're going? You would never believe me. Sergeant Bowman, please. Thank you. <coughs> Would Sergeant Bowman please go to the phone in the bar? Thank you. Sergeant Bowman and Constable Willis. Now you are out of your territory, aren't you? What's that? I listed my whereabouts until 7 o'clock this evening. Right. And I'm just off to my first appointment, Alderley Edge, right. where I'm going to pick up a long case clock. Long case? A grandfather clock to you. I'm a wristwatch man myself. <laughs> I thought that uh, you were more the sundial type. Yeah, all right, all right, we'll come with you. <laughs> oh, good, you can carry the clock to the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, and you better check to see that Spider Scott isn't curled up inside hiding. Right. Come on. Just a minute. I've got fleas, you know. What caliber? My name is Jacob Marler. Yes, I've heard of you. I believe you also know my daughter. Won't you come inside? Ah, you've brought the lady. Lo and bloody order. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the way you DI five bastards, thinking you can just walk in and take over. Your superiors raise no objection. My superiors? Mention the word London to them and they sit up and beg. What do you know? A Manchester national. Yeah, and there's lots of us think like that. Who ever heard of a thinking policeman? Do you share his views? No. And that's why one of these days you're going to be one of those superiors. I say, come on, Just who do you want anyway? Just checking I haven't become invisible. Weird feeling just standing here. Like listening to the bandits arguing about who's going to rape you. An interesting fantasy. Sooner or later, somebody's got to do something. You're absolutely right. I'm going to ask to have you suspended, which means that you are, as of now. <coughs> Next time, I'll really hurt you. Uh, 
Is it too early to say that the system at last appears to be breaking up? Thank you for the new set of threads. Did you have any bright thoughts in the bath? Uh, no, not really, no. The, uh, the atmosphere was all wrong. These sunken baths make me feel a bit randy. All right, Tommy, you may go. Would you like a drink? Uh, no, thank you, no. You know that Fairfax is going to throw you to the wolves. Hang on, got it. Right. Just in here and right down there. It's all right, Gordon. Nobody there. Now lower it slowly. Look, careful, it's precious. Be careful. Up there, watch out. Right, just there. Against it. Oh. <sighs> Great. Well, I can't begin to thank you, lads, for... Shut up! Yeah. Oh, I thought Yuri Gare could do that. Shut up! <laughs> Keep you cool, Derek. Keep you cool. What do you fancy, then, love? What did he say? Uh, I think he said, what do you fancy, love? Two gold watches. Uh, uh, Scott, Scott. And if you call me love again, I'll come round tonight and bend all your crochet hooks. Right! Yuri Geller, you're on. <laughs> Look, he's just an iron. He's not a fool, Shilling. Don't, don't get I'm upset. I'm going home. But just like that. I'm fed up with playing silly buggers Shh, up here. No, no, no. But you're supposed to be a policeman. I want to be allowed to be one instead of an errand boy to an upper-class jobbo playing at James Bond. You're right, Derek. You're absolutely right. I mean to say the local coppers could handle this just as well as us. Maybe better. Not better. Not better. You see, we know Spider Scott. Well, I'm going home even if I end up pounding a beat right. down the gate with spittle all down my tunic. Bill? Charge it up to the burr beside the clock. All right, boys. Cheers. Two six. Two six, right. Here's to mute me. Eh? Incidentally, where did Maggie's stormtrooper go? Kurt's father was professor of medical jurisprudence at Heidelberg. He was murdered by the Nazis. And friend Kurt is a little bit older than he looks, is he? In the context of what I've just told you, I find that a rather petty remark. Yeah, you can afford to. He's not sleeping with your bird, is he? Why did Fairfax want Norton out of prison? You're pretty well informed, aren't you? I have to be. Are you still on the death list? Yes. Yeah, that would blow my mind, that. You are not a Jew. Every Jew is born with a heritage of death lists. Getting back to Norton. I'm just a piece in a jigsaw puzzle. I don't give a damn about the overall pictures. As long as the pieces around me fit comfortably. Yet the overall pattern is surely what determines that. That's right. So why was your daughter working for DI-5? Because I suggested it. What? Yeah. Yes! Damn police force has gone mad. First your mate, now these two London idiots. A revolution started by the police already? Shut up. That, the trend is, will never forget. I said, shut up! Find out what your buddy's up to. Yes, sir. No telephone calls. I want to call my father. I said no telephone calls. I just want to tell him where I am. He worries. I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it, sweetie. Because I want your daddy to be very, very worried.
Where'd you learn to shoot like that, Tommy? Watching Clint Eastwood. Not bad. Not bad at all. So you could do better? <laughs> what are you using? Colt 45. It is a gun for blacksmiths. Certainly not for amateurs. A fresh target, please, Spider. Yeah, sure. You've got a bit of needle going, Spider. Right. You ever come up against him, kid? <laughs> Don't do it with a gun. Yeah, sure. Bastard. Hi, oh, is it? Give us a cup of tea, love, please. Mind if I join you? Don't take it out on me, Joe. I don't like these people any more than you do. Do me a favor. I don't. You like them all right because you're a survivor. The truth. Look, Joe, there are different ways of getting at the same thing, right? That's what made us a good team. We're not a team anymore. You're not taking this rubbish about being suspended seriously, eh? I have suspended myself. You're joking. No. You mean you're resigning? Do you want me to write it down in your notebook for you? But why? Something to do, first off, with Martha. Your wife died three years ago, Joe. Yeah. A house that was a police house, a copper's ghetto, a copper friends, copper talk, copper's wives. That's when there was anybody there at all. And my kid, what did he get out of it? Coming home from school, beaten up because his dad was a policeman. He's a doctor now. He's a Christmas card once a year, that's what he is. A grown-up man I never knew. The kids are right when they call us pigs. We're pig ignorant, pig stupid. Taking all that rubbish from upper-class twits with school ties instead of brains. Nothing you can do about it. No. Remember Johnny Bob? You don't mean that. Ed Case who runs an anarchist magazine, do you? Hmm. I'm going to see him tomorrow. Burst this thing wide open. They'll crucify you, Joe. And I'll be in good company. Listen, it's a security matter. Who's security? They let him die. My God, they wouldn't let a dog suffer like that. He's just one big third degree burn. God damn doctors. They're just experimenting on him. Seeing how long they can keep him alive. Like a goddamn guinea pig. Fairfax isn't going to like this. He just let me talk to him. He's back in London. There's the Al Capone. Telephone. He's left me in charge. I'll make the decisions. That you had better believe. And that's your decision, is it? We're really talking here about wounded vanity, aren't we? If that's what you call sending two trained men to do a boy's job, yes. Trained men? 
For God's sake, you've been Keystone cops ever since you arrived. I don't have to take that from you. for sending us back. You're not going back. But you're right. You're both being misused at the moment. I don't understand Fairfax's thinking here. Rough shadows. What? Maggie Parsons knows us. Seeing us around was supposed to make her jumpy, maybe force her into making mistakes. Instead of which, she just took the piss out of us. Would you rather go back to London or stay here and catch Spider Scott? Go back to London. Spider Scott! Every time. Right. Introduce yourself to the local police. Tell them your old Spider Scott watchers from way back. Tell them here as observers with specialized knowledge, if need be. Any hassles, refer them to me. Thank you. And use your own discretion. Don't contact me over a little thing that crops up. Just keep me in the picture. By the Al Capone. Will do. One thing I liked about the special unit at the prison. What was that? They fed the prisoners. I'll ring for room service. Well, Morris. Jacob. Where is she? Have you brought her with you? No, Jacob. What kind of a lawyer have I got? What kind of a daughter have you got? Has Lucy been arrested? She's in custody. What is she charged with? She has not been charged with anything. She has been held under the Prevention of Terrorism Temporary Provision Act. This of they 19... cannot do, Morris. Oh, yes, they can. They can hold her for questioning for 48 hours, plus another five days if they get a detention order from the Home Secretary. What are your instructions, Jacob? I shall have to think about this. Very well. When you have reached a decision, you know where to find me. Good day. So Fairfax is putting the pressure on. Well, I don't believe that. No, well, they could get her for conspiracy. On what evidence? Oh, come on. Do you want me to quote what a learned English judge said about conspiracy at a recent trial? Only if it's relevant. Oh, yes, it is. He said conspiracy could be affected with a wink or a nod without a word being spoken. And the accused in that trial got ten years. She's a good Jewish girl, too. Would you give evidence against Lucy? Save my own skin, yes. In that case, you may have to stay here a long time. That's fair enough. But that but still... But that still leaves Norden. Right. Well, all of our lot have been off to Norden, but they've come up with nothing so far. That's hardly surprising, is it, sir? CIA agent and all that. Norden's an expert. When he goes to ground, he'll probably stay there for quite some time. And of course, sir, up here you haven't got the uh... expertise of the Metropolitan Force. Uh, no, I wasn't. Would you like to sample the local brew? Uh, that's very nice. Three halves, you. okay? Well, I use it. three halves of bitter. Actually. This uh, a copper's pub, then, is it? Mostly. One or two villains as well, you know. Um, you've not seen Joe King, have you? No. Uh, no, I still think the way to Norden is through Spider Scott. You may be right, but you've not had much success, have you, so far? It does take time, you know. Strange territory and all that. But at least uh, we know our enemy, eh, Willis? Every detail down to the make of his underpants. Very helpful. Manchester's a very different place from London. There's no... Organised, centralised crime, the sources of information are widely spread. You'd not know the pubs or clubs where you might pick up a bit of gossip. Like looking for a needle in a haystack, eh? He could say that. 
if nothing better occurs to you. Ah, you reckon we should leave it to you, Blake? No, that eh? was not our brief, Willis. We were told to liaise with the local force, not to abdicate our responsibilities. Yes, sir. See, we have found Scott's girlfriend. Now, all we've got to do is keep an eye on her, have some patience, and we will get him. OK, so you try and get Scott, and we'll concentrate on Nod. Yeah. Cheers. Joe! Cheers. Joe! Come in. Thought better of it, have you? How about Acres like? The term where you were in. I came to apologise. No need for me to take it out. All right, all right. Not uh, in front of these lads there. Colleagues, Detective Sergeant uh, Bullman. Bullman, DC Willis. This is DS King, Joe King. Hi, Joe. Hey, you look like coppers. <laughs> They're uh, experts on Spider Scott. They've come up from London to give us a hand to find him in Norton. Well, the case is as good as sold then, isn't it? I'm off. Oh, for Christ's sake. Uh, excuse me. Hey, Joe! Dear, 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 dear. <laughs> the natives are restless today, aren't they, Derek? Must be something to do with the rainfall, Sarge. Yeah. My life, I've wanted to do that. I suppose you think that's funny. Mm. <laughs> your uh, policeman friends have gone. Gone? Mm. I think they could no longer accept your sense of humor. <laughs> oh, it's the story of my life. Mm. But you see what this means. <laughs> While these two clowns were there, you at least knew who was watching you. Now. Do you mean to say you come in here and played all these silly tricks <sighs> just to tell me? There was a much more serious reason. What's that? <laughs> the very rich are like young children. They want what they want when they want it. When I want pearls of wisdom, Scott, I'll... Buy them! Why don't you phone your lawyer man again? I phoned him once already. He's been to that police station. They say she's not there. Maybe they're telling the truth. Perhaps she isn't there. But if she's not there, where is she? Come in. You are not pleased to see me. No. I have enough problems without you. That is not strictly true. You have simply one big problem of which I happen to be part. I have no time to waste splitting hair. I'm beginning to wonder, Dero, if you have time left enough to do anything. Come to the point. 
You have 48 hours, Dero. Who do you think you are? I know exactly who I am. And so do you. You have no authority to lean on me like that. Technically, that is true. But if I withdraw my specialized services on the grounds of your inefficiency, your masters are not going to be pleased. No joy from the girl? Plenty of joy, Dero. But not of a kind you would understand. Someday your womanizing is going to be the death of you. Sour grapes, Dero. You have 48 hours to deliver Norton. to say, well, bless the night. Well, are you going to write that down in your bloody little book? I was just coming to see you. You'll have to wait. It's important. Everything is later. It is later. All right, then, what is it? Look, it's my mate. He's all set to blow the gaff. You know where he is? I know where he'll be. He's a real creature of habit. Good, then just let me make a phone call. to be then, Joe? Nothing. Come on, I'll get you a shot. I don't like your company. You were right. Right? What about? It is all down to London, isn't it? What is? All this crap we're mixed up in. You're talking pretty free all of a sudden. Maybe it's because I am free. I told him to stuff the job. <laughs> Never. Stay down. Did you know that London has a couple of CID men up here? Bowman and Willis looking for Spider Scott. Yeah, yeah, I met him in here. Well, are you interested in finding him? They reckon we're not up to it. We're hicks up here. We're not good enough. That's what they said. I made a phone call before I came along here, right? Yeah. It was a tip off. I know where Spider Scott is. If you're both interested. All right with you.
That's it. I'm moving out. This whole district's deteriorating. See Mr. Derrick. Mr. Derrick. Oh, sir, I'm the kind of here to sign the language. Ah, sign the language. Ah. I understand. Mm. Where is Mr. D E R O? I understand the earth at the. I'm okay now. Thank you very much. Thank you, family. Go to bed. Bye-bye. Well, how about you? Dero's checked out. She just told me. What do you mean, checked out? The young lady said that she just moved into the room this morning. Whoever had it before her, therefore, must have checked out. Got it? Got it. Have we got the right room? Yes, Sarge, we have. I wish someone had to know what the hell was going on around here. You think he might at least have told us he was going? I didn't know you could do that sign, eh? Well, you only had to ask. Matches. I need something to read. I'll fetch you some magazines. How long do you intend to keep me here? Not long. What would you like for lunch? Chicken soup. Has to be sandwiches. In that case, salt beef. I'm sorry to get nothing to eat but stodge. But you're fattening me up for the kill. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Have you sent the ransom note yet? What does that mean? Have you tried to contact my father, is what it means. I'm afraid I can't tell you that. My father knows as little about this business as I do. You knew enough to help the Northern Escape Plan. That was foolishness. Your father is not foolish. Your father has been a member of Mizrachi for a long time, raising funds for the state of Israel. That's why he got himself nearly assassinated eight years ago. Who are you, Dara? You have turned a slight inaccuracy, perhaps. Hmm. An improvement, don't you think? Jane? No, thank you. You could be quite good, you know. You reckon? Just one thing missing. Yeah, I suspected it. Killing instinct. Perhaps I should start eating raw meat, eh? That's a bit guilt. No, you're either a killer or you ain't. Yeah, I think I should just concentrate on the Nobel Peace Prize, I think. <laughs> it's more your style. Tell me something, Tommy. Tell me. Just a minute. The bodies of two police officers have been discovered in a derelict house in the Davy Hume district of Manchester. The same house in which the discarded prison clothes of the escaped prisoner William Scott were discovered. The two policemen who have been shot are believed to have been killed elsewhere and their bodies later dumped in the spot 
where they were discovered by a squatter. That's the end of the news flash. Now that old wino would like being described as a squatter. You'll be fitted up, Spider. Who knows? If not, someone's a nasty sense of humor. Yeah, maybe I want to start finding out who. No way. Well, just to clear my name, you know. Try to go over the wall here, kid. And I'll break your good, beautiful neck. Where is it? Where's what? My wallet. What the hell are you doing? I had my wallet here yesterday, and now it is missing! No! Are you accusing me of stealing it? Uh, half a draft, Guinness, and a, go uh, and a scotch, please. It has to be a copper's pub, like they said. Yeah, poor but honest. Mm, what happened to Bloody Hills, champion? You going native, sir? <laughs> yeah, but I don't think I'm fooling anybody. 50 pence, please. Yeah. Uh, um, I've got no change to it. <laughs> you know I've been invited to the wedding. Oh. My expert, Ken. Oh, yes. Yes, the one that's having a little baby, Willis. You think I should go? That's a bit uh, unethical. Yeah. What about Mr. Darrow then? Yeah, what about those two local boys who were terminated? Yeah, well, I think that. The... What is it, sir? In the mirror there. That bloke was just come in. Pint of Guinness. <laughs> I don't believe it. He's wearing porridge gear. You forgot to take the wallpaper off. Strip. Are you serious? I am. Strip! Oh, get off! Let's take him in. Ah, uh, the local yobos are screwed up. What do we do? Shut him up. What have we got to lose? I say. Do you mind if we join you, old man? Hmm? Why? We'd like to buy you a drink, old boy. Why? Because we're strangers in a strange land, old boy. Are you as corpus? <laughs> no, no, no. We're from London, old boy. This is a corpus pub. If we eat in an Indian restaurant, does that make us Muslims? Ha, 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 What do we have to drink, old boy? I'll have a large whiskey. <laughs> um, a large whiskey, please. I'll have a gold one. And two halves of bitter, please. I don't know how you drink that stuff. Uh, my name's Mr. Bullman, old boy. This is my partner, Mr. Willis. How do you do? Donnelly. Samuel Joseph Donnelly. Ah, Irish, of course, old boy. I'm proud of it. County Antrim. Who's your tailor, old man? Hmm? What now, Kurt? Shall we have me x-rayed? I had my wallet when I came in here yesterday. You had me when you came in here yesterday. Never again, Kurt. Never is a long time. No. What you did just now is a kind of rape. <laughs> you are dramatizing. And you're rationalizing. Do you know where Spider is? You know I do. Well, you haven't actually told me where. Why should I now? Because I, I want to go to him. Here's at Jacob Mahler's house. The telephone number is 984-4632. Well, aren't you going to do anything about this? You bastard! Da was a hacker. I can well believe it. You should have seen that old fella dance. Such a little neat wee fella. Light on his feet as a feather. Are you a Tig? I think he's asking if you're a Catholic. No, I'm not. What about your mate? He's a Seventh-day Adventist. 
that a Catholic? No. Hurry up for us. Bring us the same again, laughing boy. Where'd you get that club of your wearing? Now, oh, Jesus, who cares? He does. Why? Uh, he's a spy from Taylor and Cutter. I'll tell you again, Catherine. Let's take him down and nick and throw the book at him. Let's throw it twice. Oi! Hey. Lightning! Huh? The clubber! <laughs> oh, you want to know where I got the clues? Yeah, it didn't seem much to ask. I, I got up in Bridget McGee. Who's she? Housekeeper to a priest. <laughs> she was going to throw these old duds out and she thought she'd do me a good turn. And her a good Catholic. I do the priest garden for him. Very ecumenical. What? Look, where do we find this priest? St. Malachy's, Salford. Why didn't you tell us all this before? <laughs> Look at all the drinks I wouldn't have got. <laughs> Just a minute, sir. Oh, uh, hold the bill. Yeah. Uh, Derek, I've got no... Hello. Maggie. Yeah. Well, whereabouts are you phoning from? Well, do you think that's safe? Oh. Of course, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, as soon as you like, yeah. Well, sooner if possible, yeah. Uh, but... Well, I was just um, walking past. You know, I was, uh, yeah. It was uh, Maggie, actually.